Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. Right? First five books of God's revealed word to us, the book of Deuteronomy. I don't know if you've gone through it or not. This is Moses' last sermon. He repeats himself a couple different times as the children of Israel are about to enter into the promised land, as he is about to go to the true promised land, heaven itself. And what he does in the book of Deuteronomy, he repeats the laws of God, right? so that God's children know how to live in, in the land, not just to be blessed, but to be a blessing. And what you see over and over again is the call to love God. Love God. Love God. And what Moses is saying, what God is saying, do you love me? Right? Jesus' words to Peter right? at the end of the Gospel of John, do you love me? Do you really love me? Are you sure you love me? Right? We are called to love the Lord our God with all of our hearts, all of our soul, all of our mind, all of our strength. And the question for you and me today, this week, is coming directly from God, coming from Jesus, and he's asking you, do you love him? Do you love him? And as you go through the book of Deuteronomy, you see that if we do love him, we obey, and, and more than that, we live out that obedience by loving our neighbor. And Jesus clarified that, clarified the law of Moses, just in case we miss it when we read the Old Testament. It's there, it's everywhere. But Jesus clarified it. To love God, to answer Jesus by saying, yes, I love you, is to love our, our neighbor. So I want you to think about that. Right? To worship God is to love your neighbor. To love him is to love your neighbor. If you're not loving your neighbor, what are we not doing? We're not loving God. A lot of us, we struggle with this. We fall into the temptation of getting puffed up in our relationship with God, feeling that we're so close to Him, we're so close to Him, we're receiving, receiving, receiving. But what happens? Right? Oftentimes what happens is that we start neglecting our neighbor. Right? We're, we're just living with some unholy pride, even though it feels holy. So I want to encourage you, make you think about it right now. If you feel like you're getting closer to God and you don't feel like you're getting closer to those in your life, you don't feel like you're sacrificing more, we need to stop and pause right, and let Jesus ask us the question, do you really love me? You think you're loving me, but, but loving is much more than just a song. Right? It, it's a life. It's actions expressed in love. To love God is to love our neighbors. That's what Moses puts out there. That's what God puts out there. And certainly Jesus clarified it all for us. God himself in the flesh. Right? To love me is to love your neighbor. And so today, may you and I seize those opportunities that God is going to give to us to love our neighbors. And as we wrap up this moment, I want to encourage you, stick around for this video. We want to show you um, a moment that took place this past Sunday. Many of you are there. We had a great celebration, Family Fun Festival, outdoor worship, had over a thousand people with us. It was a great uh, moment in the life of Trinity. And so be blessed, be inspired, be encouraged that you're not alone, that we are all with you and God is with us. And he is a great big God who calls us to love him as he has first loved us. He loves you. Whoa.